Today we're going to demonstrate to you the Alenco EDX2 automatic antenna tuner. The Alenco is specified for 1.6 to 30 megahertz. It can handle 200 watts PEP. And the advantage of this tuner over a lot of other tuners, is, automatic tuners, is that this one only requires very little RF power to actually tune. To demonstrate that to you, I will show you how it works with my FT817 FT which only gives off about 4 watts if I'm not mistaken. We'll use this uh, SWR meter uh, in the demo to show you that the uh, unit indeed tunes to 1.1 for the radio. The, tu uh, the tuner comes with a uh, coax cable and a control cable. Uh, that is uh, factory original, that's the way they sold them. Uh, 50 ohm coax cable is 15 feet, 15 feet total. The uh, control cable carries the uh, supply voltage, minus and plus. The uh, white cable is the tune start. You just pull it to ground with a little switch and it will start to tune. And the green cable is what's called the key line cable. That is an optional connection that you can connect to your transceiver. Some transceivers have a uh, input for that that keeps the transmitter going as long as the tuner is tuning. The way I'll show you the uh, demonstration is that I just transmit the uh, radio manually. So I just first activate the uh, carrier by transmitting. We do that in FM mode, so we have a constant carrier. And then once there is a rough carrier, I press uh, I press the uh, tune start button, which I will hook up and show you in a minute. As a um, as an antenna, we'll just use a simple magnet wire. I uh, will string around five or six yards in the room here and as you will see the tuner will uh, handle that just fine from all the way from 80 to uh, 10 meters. 160 meter you might need a little bit more but the tuner is also specified for uh, for 160 meters and it's uh, it's quite a nice unit I'll uh, I'll show that to you. As you can see the inside of the tuner here as you can see it looks like new uh, I did hook it up to 12 volts. I took uh, took off the original cable from this terminal block. The terminal has uh, ground plus 12 volts, uh, start, tune start, that is, and key. Start uh, means the tune cycle will start once you pull it to ground, which I do with this little switch that I hooked up. It's a very simple make switch. And the key output basically uh, uh, tells the transceiver to transmit once you uh, have started the tune cycle. Um, if you don't want to hook that up, you have to transmit the uh, you have to key the transmitter manually in order to give the tuner RF when it uh, it starts auto tuning. I'll show you that in a minute because here for this demo I didn't hook that up. Uh, the tuner is hooked up in a simple magnet wire that I uh, basically have across the room here. It's about uh, uh, probably five yards in length, six maybe. Uh, nothing special. It's just for the demo. Um, the FT one eight, the FT eight one seven we use as a uh, as a transceiver to give carrier. Now, as you all know, this transceiver is a four a four or five watt transceiver, and that power is actually enough to make this tuner going. It's specified for two hundred watt PEP, but the nice thing is it also does its job with very low carrier power. So if you only have an FT817 this tuner will work just fine. If you have an FT7800 uh, uh, or something it will also just work fine. Uh, as a uh, SWR meter we just use a cheap uh, meter to show you that it actually is doing the job. Okay, let's uh, let's get it going. We will start the tuning on a random frequency in the 80 meter band as you can see and uh, that's a good point to start. All right, we're back, and we're ready to go. I'm starting the transmitter, and that was the tuning. As you can see, we're now at uh, a tuned situation. Now at 80 meter, this this meter is not very sensitive, so it doesn't show very well at 80 meters. But I'll show you later at the higher bands. Then we have full scale, and you will be able to see the tune cycle. We'll do it once more, change the frequency, and then we'll 
keep it pointed at the meter. There we go. As you see, we're there. But again, at 80 meters, it doesn't show very well. And we'll go to 40 now. All right, the transceiver is now at a 40 meter frequency, just a random frequency that I picked. And we'll, uh, we'll do it again. That's much more visible, as you see. We, here we have full scale. And it works like a champ. Now if I store this frequency, and I go to another one, let's say this one here, and we tune again. As you see, it uh, is back to uh, 1 to 1. If I then go to the old frequency, which is what we have now, and I start the tune cycle again, then the tuner recalls that from memory. As you saw, just a simple click, and it goes back to the earlier tuning solution that it found. So in other words, it recognizes that you have tuned at that frequency before. There is a frequency counter in this circuit. It recognizes the frequency and then just pulls up the tuning solution. And uh, in a single click it will be there. So it's basically a self-learning tuner. Most other tuners have that. That's not that special, but it sure is a nice feature uh, for this tuner. All right, we're at the uh, 30 meter band now. Let's see how it uh, will do the job there. And we're tuned. Took a little bit longer here. Antenna has a more difficult impedance at this frequency apparently. But that highly depends on the antenna that you connect. You know, other situations in other bands it might take longer. Really depends on your uh, antenna impedance. But uh, as you can see, this thing works just perfect. We're now at the uh, 15 meter band. We're not going to show all bands, but 50 meter is. Uh, it's a little bit higher obviously and we're still in FM mode for the carrier and let's see what we get it works just perfect that was the uh, the 15 meter band okay we're now in the uh, 10 meter band the 29 2 I picked let's see what we get there And as you can see, it works there too. No problem. Alright, that was it. The Alenco Auto Tuner EDX2 for the handbands. 1.6 to uh, 30 megahertz. And it's in excellent condition. As you can see, all the, the mounting hardware and all the screws are stainless steel. It's uh, ABS plastic, impact uh, resistant, and a large. Uh, porcelain insulator for the uh, antenna hookup. One of the best automatic and tuners uh, your money can buy and it can handle 200 watts. Most tuners are only uh, doing 150 as you know, or 125. Thank you for watching this video.